Welcome all my friends in TV land. This is Senior Issues, etc. I'm your host, Vita Verdon. Thank you for watching the show today. Hurry up, go get your drink, come, sit down, pay attention, have a paper and pencil. Okay, you ready? Now, what I have these two good looking young men, you know, my age, everything is younger, but these two good looking young men, they have a really interesting story to tell, and it kind of dovetails into senior issues, and they're going to tell us the whole story. I want you to sit back and relax, and we're going to hear their story. The first young man to my right is Dave Wojtek, and sitting next to him is Justin Jacola, and I pronounce their names correctly and what they're we're, what we're gonna I know I know I know what you like you like to get up and pr up close and personal and how do they fit in so I'm gonna milk it out of them we're gonna get a little bit of their personal life who they are and so I'm gonna have them look right at you on the screen and tell you a little bit about themselves so David I want you to look right there <laughs> and we tell our they're they're real friendly and they're really nice out there and they want to hear about you. So first of all, Vita, thank you very much for having okay. us on the show. We're excited to share our story. Um, again, my name is Dave Voidick and I live in Lake Zurich, Illinois with my family, uh, beautiful wife Lucy and daughter Jessica, kisses out to you. No, I'm going to stop you right there. Okay. We don't give those milk toast kisses on this show. <laughs> what we give is smackaroonies like okay, that, okay? okay? okay. <laughs> So, um, uh, first. So, you go on, you got to give two of them. Yes, You're so not I would like to share a kiss with my beautiful wife. Ah. There you go. And got it. my beautiful daughter, Jessica. And uh, so, I live in Lake Zurich. Uh, my company, Legend Creative Group, is there. We're entering our 25th year in business next year. So, we're, uh, we've been around for a while and we do video production, we do marketing, we do advertising. We do print design and um, web, web development. So we have this uh, marketing company, and uh, uh, again, we're entering our 25th year now. So. Oh, good. Yep. So, okay, Justin, you just look in there, and you tell us, come on, we want to get some dirt on you. Awesome. We're going to well, see what you're all about. <coughs> again, okay? Vita, thank we you. We like your haircut. <laughs> it's cool. Thank you. I, you got a cool haircut? The haircut is a shout-out to my mother-in-law. So to my mother-in-law for the haircut, who okay. does an amazing job. Uh, she was actually over my house last night. But, um, yeah, so I'm She gave you the haircut? Yeah, she's amazing. Yeah, oh, so, uh, that's cool. Yeah, she's, uh, she's, she's an amazing person. So uh, I'm Justin Jackala. Um, uh, I am the f uh, a film director and the founder of J-Jack Productions, which is a video production company based out of Chicago. I've been doing video production uh, for a while now, and uh, it's been really, really great. do a lot of commercial stuff, which is really, really fun. I uh, started off in advertising and um, you know, just kind of worked from there, and we run a really great filmmaking blog exposing the crew in Chicago, which is, which is really fun as well, and got a couple of feature film projects that we're working on as well. So, uh, but, but most importantly, while we're here today, you know, the Words of Wisdom project. So. Well, kind of connect us into the dots. How did the two of you meet? Okay, so I'll, I'll answer that. Uh, Justin and I met at a uh, networking event about two and a half years ago. Okay. And right away we hit it off and, and thought we should collaborate on something. And um, we, we put our heads together and, and tried to think of projects that we could work on together. And kind of working on the question of uh, what is the untold story out there and, or what are some of the untold stories and how can we connect that. And, we start bouncing ideas around. Well, let me get this clear. What, <coughs> what you're going is like in our society, when you're saying untold stories, uh, untold stories in our society, exactly. who isn't being heard of? Is that yeah, correctly? Yeah, exactly. What, I want to hear you right. What content can we bring forth in, in a video realm that we can share with people that hasn't been told and maybe hasn't been explored as much? And, and that's what brought us to the idea of interviewing seniors. And that is kind of the evolution of, of the Words of Wisdom project. Well, Justin, I want you to pipe in. Uh, how, how, how did you know the story wasn't told? So uh, it was interesting. Like Dave said, uh, him and I had met a couple years ago. And we wanted to work on a video project together. We wanted okay. to just collaborate on, on something, but we weren't sure what. Uh -huh. And he had said, well, how about interviewing seniors uh, for uh -huh. that exact reason of, of telling those untold stories. And it, and it sparked an interest with me big time because um, I had recently worked for the Northwest Herald in their video advertising department. And we did a bunch of videos, commercials actually, for these senior living facilities. Oh. And so with doing those videos, we had interviewed dozens 
and dozens and dozens of individuals and, uh -huh. and it was just so enlightening and so enjoyable to sit down with these seniors at these facilities and hear about their life story and, and all that stuff. And so when he had kind of brought that up, we all of a sudden we started bouncing ideas back and forth and we came up with the Words of Wisdom Project to interview seniors 65 and older and ask them you know, about 20 questions about the meaning of life and their life story. But the question I'd like to know is, how did, did you go about researching it? How did you know the story was untold, or didn't you know that? Yeah, so we, 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 huh? we, we spent about a week and a half researching. After we kind of came up with the idea uh -huh. together, we said, okay, well, is this, somebody's got to be doing this already, right? Like interviewing seniors, telling their life uh -huh. story, like someone's got to be doing uh -huh. this. And, and we found that nobody was doing it. I mean, we searched from, from websites to, to blogs to vlogs to a, anything out there to, to TV channels. And of course, seniors were interviewed here and there for different reasons, whatever, but no one was just interviewing to hear their life story and to pass on their wisdom to a younger generation. So th then the name of the project is the Words of Wisdom Project. Correct. Right? Yep. You came up with uh, the name of it. We okay. Uh, how did you come up with that? So I think we, we noodled around with um, a lot of different names and um, we thought, you know, being direct, you know, it, there's nothing more direct than the Words of Wisdom Project kind of says exactly what we're doing. So we we wanted to become a venue for seniors who have tons of experience and life lessons and wisdom to share, and we wanted to be the venue for them to be able to share these stories. And the, the name Words of Wisdom just seemed to fit perfectly for us. Well, you know, I do a commentary on every show, and my commentary is called The Pearls of Wisdom. Yeah. So it's, it's sort of, we're getting the merging mm -hmm. as how you fit here on this show and we fit uh, on your show. So, okay, so you ventured together. Now, when was your first project and who did you start with? Did you probably start with your own family, Oh, right? we did, as a matter of yes. fact. Um, we wanted to kind of test out the, the model. The waters. Uh, exactly, and see how, how the whole production went. So, we started with my mom, uh, Vera Voidick, and, and my dad, Robert Voidick. Uh, we interviewed them um, at their location in Algonquin. We set up um, our three camera setup and interviewed them and then from that point we went to a couple neighbors and um, we just found that it's, it was a wonderful thing. Um, we specifically designed the questions to really draw out interesting responses and find out, you know, to pull out those nuggets of wisdom that you made uh -huh. a reference to. And um, since then, over two years, we've modified the questions, we've taken some out, we've added some and really uh, kind of grown the, the questions um, into a perfect um, line up for and, us. And, and some examples of some of those questions are, you know, what makes you smile? Uh, uh, what is your favorite memory in your entire life? And then we literally ask our last question is, what in your opinion is the meaning of this life? And so we're asking a variety of things. So from, you're probing. Yeah, we're, you're we're probing, probing. To get an overhaul and to get some kind of response. Yeah. Okay, when you put them up online, could you kind of get, uh, did you get feedback online? Did you get feedback? We got a lot of feedback from... Um, what kind of feedback did you get? Uh, just, just amazing stories. Uh, so it might be from a family member. It might just be from uh, some random audience member uh -huh. that, that came up online and, and watched the video. And we're getting so many good responses like um, how interesting and um, thanks for sharing that. Um, we, we interviewed somebody about... Um, and they shared their story about adoption and how they hit, went through the struggles and the triumphs of of being adopted and personally for me I have an adopted daughter so I think that hits home for me and we're able to share that video with our daughter and um, and see what her reaction is to it. Well and the beautiful thing is we're asking 20 of the biggest questions in life in general no matter how old or young you are we're uh -huh. asking 20 of the biggest questions and so the responses that we elicit they're uh -huh. not just responses of what seniors think we just ask seniors because they have more experience than anybody else they have age on their side so we're asking these questions and so the responses that we're getting are, are big responses I mean one of uh -huh. our questions is you know do you um, have you ever seen anything that you would consider supernatural? And some people uh -huh. say no, and some people have uh, beautiful, amazing stories about things that they've experienced that they think are, are, are above and beyond nature or something maybe that God provided them. And so again, there, so the, the discussion that comes out of those, uh, both online on our YouTube channel and our, our website and, and phone calls that we get from the families is really beautiful. And we're drawing, those, we're drawing yes. these um, responses out of people. A lot of times there'll be a husband and wife couple and the wife is offset and off camera and, and the husband will say, well, I want to share something, and even my wife doesn't know this. 
So the gentleman that we asked, um, what is on your bucket list? And he, he said, my wife doesn't even know this, but I'd really like to jump out of a plane. I'd like to go skydiving. And we thought that was so cute. So um, just to elaborate on that point a little bit, we recently have tried to identify some of these bucket list items. And if there's one that we can actually help make happen, we're, we're gonna do that. And so in this case, we're exploring um, to see if this gentleman, Tom, can go skydiving in the spring. Well, uh, we're going to go into that a little deeper, uh, but right now, why don't you give your website? Sure. Our website is wordsofwisdomproject.org, and we would invite all of you to come take a look at the site, watch some of the interviews. Uh, again, we've edited them down from, from 20 minutes down to five minutes, so it's a, it's a very uh, nice amount of time to sit and watch each interview. Yeah. Well, good. Now I'm going to do my Vita's Words of Wisdom Project. Okay. This is the pearls of wisdom. We're getting back to the words of wisdom. Okay, now let's get into some of the things that you've learned from different people along the way because like this year in your second year of doing it, so it's kind of building up a little momentum. Yes, yes. I know that we, you found us on the website, so we collaborated and on, on our website and on your website is the crew here. Their, their interviews. Yes, we interviewed uh, Vita's entire crew uh, and had a wonderful time. Uh, Joe, who's behind the camera over there, talked about um, all his wonderful cars that he works on and uh, so many great stories. And I, I did bring a little list of just some, some of the nuggets of, of, of great stories that we've had over the last couple good. of years. Um, and, and Justin has a couple as well. Uh, we, we interviewed a, a gentleman, Roger, whose daughter was a flight nurse out in uh, Arizona who Died, unfortunately died in a plane crash. And, uh -huh. and his bucket wish list was to be able to visit the site because it was on a mountainside and it was very hard to get to. So his bucket wish list was to go and visit that site and, and be able to say a prayer to his daughter from that site to climb the mountain and, and visit that uh -huh. location. So since then he has done that and um, been able to you know spend some time where his daughter lost her life. Uh, and that we thought that was very uh, poignant and very meaningful. Um, another one uh, uh, where a son wanted to, you know, we asked um, if, if your parents could be around right now, what might you say to him? And a son who wanted to say to his deceased father, Dad, I forgive you. And we don't know what, uh, you know, what he's being forgiven uh -huh. for, but just things like that. Um, w we mentioned um, a woman named Jerry who shared her innermost feelings about um, and challenges about being adopted and how she eventually overcomes those. Um, a gentleman named Phil who talks about the grieving and coping he went through uh, with his oldest son's suicide. So a lot of really deep um, stories that we hear. Um, we also interviewed a, a lady who's a, a TV host and who spent the greater part of her youth in jazz clubs and um, opened her own jazz club at the age of 15. And I'm talking about Vita yeah, right here. That's so me. <laughs> that's me. So lots of wonderful stories. Um, a World War II veteran who um, wrote um, to his wife-to-be and, and uh, accumulated 4,400 pages of letters to his, his wife over that period of time. Yeah. Uh, uh, I don't know, if, it, Justin, if you have a few. I mean, the, one of the coolest parts about doing this, the Words of Wisdom project, is that you just, you're getting these nuggets of wisdom. So not only are, are, is our audience getting these, but Dave and I, who conduct the interviews, were getting personally these words of wisdom. So two stories I can think of in particular. One was a gentleman uh, who was in his 70s, and, and the question was, what was your favorite memory in your entire life? And it just, it, it absolutely blows my mind. 70 plus years on this earth, and, and all the wisdom and experience that he has, his favorite memory was this. He, he told the story that his granddaughter called him one day and she said, Papa, are you coming to the family event this weekend? And he said, yeah, honey, I am coming to the family event this weekend. And he said, you know, why? Why, why do you ask? And, and she said, because if you, if you don't go, uh, I don't want to be there. And it was like, it just blew my mind that out of 70 plus years of this man's life, that that was his number one favorite memory was his granddaughter not wanting to go somewhere if he wasn't going with because she loved him so much. Uh, another one, again, just the simple things in life was um, uh, a woman who said her favorite memory in her entire life, again, there are so many memories, was, the, was when her parents would hold her hand when she was a little girl, you know, five years old or whatever, uh -huh. and they would swing her, you know, each holding a hand and they would swing her. And it was like, out of all the big things that could happen uh -huh. in this life, something so small and so simple as your parents swinging you in their arms was her single most favorite memory. And again, she's got, you know, 80 uh -huh. plus years of experience. Right. So it's, it's stuff like that, that it's just like these little tiny nuggets of wisdom 
uh, it, it just it just absolutely blows and my mind. And that is one of our questions. Uh -huh. that, uh, we, we say to, um, one of our questions is, they say it's the little things in life that matter uh -huh. the most. What are some of those little things in your life? Yeah. Uh -huh. So, and that, that always brings out um, interesting stories. Well, what, what I'd like to talk about is that you started here in the Midwest, right? Yes. But uh, do you see this expanding? Yes. Yeah, so, so maybe we could talk a little bit about that. So that, that is our goal. Um, we really want to interview uh, from a cross-section of humanity. What do you mean by a cross-section? So people from all areas of the world, um, geography, religion, ethnicity, um, we want that diversity. So you yeah. want, do you want to get the total pulse of America? Of, not of humanity, of humanity yeah. you know, as a whole. You know? um, the idea is um, we, we had um, uh, one lady say that, um, you know, it, why, why can't people learn from the hundred mistakes I've made and, and not have to make those mistakes over again? So that the idea behind it is to impart this wisdom to everyone in the world and to also be able to share um, opinions and views from different walks of life. And we feel that's important. So, of course, we're starting here in Chicagoland in the Midwest, but we're working on our plans to try to expand this to other areas of the country and hopefully of the uh, rest of the world. Okay, from the time that you birthed in this idea to the place you are now, has your vision grown? Yeah, well, it's it's changed a lot. Changed uh, I mean, a I mean lot. Not, not a lot, but it's it, it it's, morphs. So I mean, like it, like we had it, it constantly is on the movement. Yeah, it's well, alive. Yeah, like we had mentioned earlier, um, it's like even the questions themselves. I and mean, we ask about twenty questions, but those questions have gone from twenty five to fifteen questions, and, and some of them we swap out and we try different questions, and some of them elicit great responses for the camera, and some of them others, you know, not as good responses, and those are the ones. So even constantly morphing that, but even how the project runs, because like typically what we're doing right now is we're going into different senior facilities or different like nonprofit organizations or we're partnering with like senior expos or events and we're going and doing our wow what we call wow days where we bring in our camera crew of three cameras and we interview probably about 10 to 12 different seniors in in those locations and so even these different organizations that we work with they give us ideas they give us feedback and we alter it to make it the best program we possibly can well I had one observation uh, in in putting up um, uh, our cruise interviews, one of the persons on our crew, the uh, graphics man, uh, one of his question, what he had focused on was gun control, mm -hmm. and that's kind of a hot topic. And so the person who manages our website had track of it, and within a few hours of it being put up, he had already 1,700 hits <laughs> on it. Yeah. So what's going on is also connected in to the rest of society. Yep. Yes. And I think this is one of the plus issues of it because we're now connecting the different generations and different thought processes through technology. Yep. And that's yep. one of the benefits of technology. Yep. Why don't you give the telephone number and website again? Well, yeah, the, the website, um, we would love for you to visit, not only um, to check out the videos that we've done so far, but like we want to hear your comments. We want to hear your feedback um, on, on what, what, what you think of, of the That's program right. and what we could do. And so it's uh, wordsofwisdomproject.org. And so please go on there and, and either comment on the videos or send us an email, or, or Dave's got the phone number that you could call us at. Sure, the phone number, if, if you'd like to learn more about our project or to set up an interview, um, a wow, what we call a wow day at, yep. your, at your facility is 847-438. 3528. Well, another area that I like us to touch in on, because I think it's an important part of this, is you have, you have picked a very lofty project. And I know that, how has this been funded? You know, mm -hmm. let's talk about that a little bit. So, so since the inception, um, Justin and I, who are both business owners, have self-funded this project, um, just because we're so passionate about it and we, we feel it's something that really needs to be done it's regardless yeah. regardless of, of how the money is, is being provided. We, we wanted to make sure this happens, so um, we've self-funded it. But as time has passed over the last two years and we're becoming, um, there's more demand for us to get out there, um, we are looking for partners and so sponsors. So what you need is, is you need some investors. You need to be sponsored. Exactly. Okay, so uh, I, I just talk as the devil's advocate, uh, you know, as me as a sponsor, what, what benefit will I have 
if if I intend to sponsor you? What what will it benefit me? Because sure. you know this is the kind of world we're living in. You yeah. know what's in it for me? Well, first and foremost, I think becoming part of the project is the most important benefit. Uh, uh -huh. To be part of something that we feel is so important and um, learning from the, the senior population and imparting that wisdom to the younger generation. So being part of that, I think, is the biggest value. Um, there's also uh, benefits like um, we will show you as a sponsor on our website and um, put your logo, if you'd like, on the videos and on the website. Um, Justin, can you elaborate? Yeah, on? exactly. I mean, like, uh, originally, um, you know, it's, uh, again, when people see, when these organizations or these companies who are sponsoring us or, or who uh -huh. are doing a WOW Day with us, when they do a WOW Day for the first time, they get so excited because when, it's like they, they hear, we tell them about the idea and they're like, oh, that's a really good idea. And then they check out the website and they're like, wow, these videos are really good. But when they actually get there on site, that's when they fall head over heels in love with it. And they're like, what, what, what can we possibly do to help you guys? How can we distribute and get your videos out there? so on and so forth and so the benefit of of these companies coming in and being part of it you know we want to take that and, and we have an audience we have subscribers I mean we would encourage you guys to subscribe on our website so that you get our weekly email because we release these every single Thursday we and, have over 10,000 views at this point yeah and, oh, and that's good so yeah. you're, you're picking up a following we're get it we have a following and it seems to grow and you mentioned um, uh, I just want to touch base you mentioned um, uh, the searchability and when people found you know, there was something on gun control we did an interview right. So when we name these videos, we try to grab something that is an important issue out there in the public and name the video uh, along, alongside that. So, so when they search on a specific well, you, subject. you have to explain what you mean. You're taking a highlight. Uh, I want to be clear so that so one uh, of, um, our, our audience knows what you, you're talking about. Yes. So one of our, um, our questions for that gentleman was um, about gun control. And he went on and elaborated his opinions on that. So, we use that as the title of the video. So, so when, that's the buzz. Correct. So that's when people search on Google, they can find that. And so that's, that's how we're connecting through social media a lot of times is having the proper title and, and um, the name of the, the video to connect with what people are interested in. Well, I want you to give an appeal to our, our audience out there uh, the, for them to contact you and get your newsletter and, and learn more about it yes. because this is a, a project that includes a lot of people. Yes, um, so please um, come take a look at our website, get involved with our project. We feel it's super important. Um, our, our website is www.wordsofwisdomproject.org and our phone number is 847-438-3528. And I'd like to elaborate a little bit on who benefits from, from this program because it's really interesting to me how this has evolved. Um, initially, uh, we thought the audience is the younger generation, which it certainly uh -huh. is. That's one of our audiences and a very important one. Um, but uh, as Justin mentioned, the seniors themselves have such a wonderful time doing this that um, the facilitators at some of these residences are identifying that and saying, wow, what a great event this is. It's just such a, a great activity for our seniors. So you've got all the the audience of the younger generation that are watching and, and learning from the videos, but you have the seniors that are involved with this and they find it such a great activity and so wonderful to be able to let out some of these stories and share this with the rest of well, the world. And it's amazed us, I mean, even the different venues because we have people all the time say, oh man, my educational institution, we would love to show the kids these videos. Or, or we had a research group that we were working with, a university we were working with, and their research department was like, not only are these videos good, but we want, we want to utilize the research because you're asking really important questions of a really important population and we want to utilize the research to be able to better help the aging community and so on and so forth. So just the different avenues, the different areas, the different corners of people who are showing interest in this is just, it's been really mind boggling to us. And again, we, we've been transforming the entire program to benefit everybody in that regards. So. Well, you know, we could go on and on. We're going to have to have you two guys back <laughs> often to show the growth. But you know, you out there, if you're the one I'm talking to, yeah, you, when you come to the end of your rope, you tie a knot and you hang on real tight. You know why? because the best is yet to come. What we want you all to do this week is to catch the spirit. God bless you. We love you.